as you can see, I actually have two, um, what do you call it? Okay, one filter, one main canister filter. So that's the Sunsun HW3000. And this one over here is the one that pushes water, but you can see all the skin is actually stuck there already. So I'm actually going to have to clean that later on once I take all of them out to feed them. Okay, this is the first time I'm going to do this in this tank, so I don't really know like how I'm going to do it. But anyway, let's see. Let me turn off this switch first. Okay, and then I'm going to remove this glass tank cover at the side here and then I am going to reach out for it okay I'm just gonna use this to put it in so I can clear it so yeah okay just moving the wire over to this side so that I can bring it up And this guy, I got it from um, Tian Hu because I saw it in their big like 8 foot tank and I was like, I want this so that's how I got this so let me just show you how it looks Okay, so this is the Superboy 2300 I don't know, whatever power hit and pump so as you can see it's all stuck with the Terrapin skin and also they had they pulled in some of the money plants earlier so that's where all of that is stuck so I'm just gonna clean that so if you wanna see me clean it which I'm sure you do okay I'm gonna I'm gonna do it here so with this like that I kind of you could just yeah I like to remove this whole thing. And I like to check the fan. Usually the fan is okay. I only clean the fan like maybe once a month. But this is the one that usually has a lot of issues because it's always stuck. So I'm gonna move that there. I'm gonna put this here. Oh look at that. Can you see? Wow, it's all stuck in there. So it's been trying to filter for some time, but it's all stuck there, which is a uh, Nice and good thing, really. I always have these thongs for feeding the terrapin, so I'm gonna use them to kind of like pull the gunk out. Ew, ew, ew. Ew, ew, ew. I don't even know how to do this. How much of the money plants did they eat? Damn. Ah, uh, whatever. I'm just gonna use my hands. Yeah. Yeah, it's all fiber. It's all fibrous. All fibers from the plants they eat. Mm, probably need to use a sponge to remove all this gunk. Yeah, it probably do so I'm gonna go to the sink use a sponge like the scourging sponge and stuff to kind of like remove all of this gunk because if not my nails are gonna get so bad okay I'm gonna do that at the sink it's gonna wash this all off and be right back okay you guys I have just cleaned it all up and so I also dug this up from the tank because it fell into the tank because they pulled it away. So this gives more air to the fishes which I like. It aerates the water so I'm just gonna put this back like that. And this guy goes up here so he actually takes in um, air from the surface to push out bubbles. So a little bit of a love-hate relationship with this because one, the terrapins keep pulling it away. Two, when there's a lot of air in the water, it actually creates um, some foam sometimes. So it's, it, it tells me that the ammonia level is up as well. So that's what I kind of like. But you know, like I said, it is a love-hate. So, yep. Okay, so anyways, this is done. Let me bring you guys up. And let's put it into the tank. 
Okay, so now that um, it's all clean, I'm going to attempt to put it back in to the pan. I think it goes down here. Now let's try putting this guy here. So I do need to push away all the gum, so. so let's put back the glass panel up top. Okay, so. Frankly, I think the terrapins are gonna pull like the air and wire thing, but anyway, let us see. So let's turn it on and see how it works. So basically, it's pushing out water, pushing out air, aerates the water. You can see all the gunk going in as well. Can you see that? They're like the skin stuff going in too, so. Yeah, that's the one thing I gotta watch. And yeah, so this gives more air to the fishes. And um, aerates the water, better for the terrapins and stuff like that. So yeah, that's what it is.